Hey everybody! Welcome back. We're making there's a lot of momentum here on this Isaac morning. Tainted Samson Hush Blue Baby. Yeah, we can do that. We can I, I know I said in the last episode we're gonna like try uh to remove the time-based objectives, but there's another way to think about the time-based objectives. You could just keep them up there uh, and then choose to either ignore them or not. Is That's the alternative. I mean, you gotta take Guppy. It's it's not non-negotiable, but it's it's gotta be done. We might lose a life on the way out if we just stick to a half-heart. We don't, you know? Boy, I sure hope somebody got fired for that blunder. Tainted Samson, pretty good. Um, Berserk is actually like, uh, I think it's a pretty killer effect here. I just, I mean, we've established many times in the past, you know, I have uh, kind of like an unbelievable melee bias. Given the opportunity to play as a character that has like even a small amount of melee ability, I'm gonna prioritize that, I'm gonna be happy to see it, and would you look at that? That's kind of like a, an unbelievable first floor. You wouldn't kill me. You wouldn't kill me. The damage down is pretty bad. The luck down isn't that bad. And you know what? I, I now know that that's how experimental treatment works. Four, four stats up, two stats down. Is that seated or is that like static? Is that always four stats up, two stats down? Is it always peace up? A town down? Do it, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> Look at he's so mad. He's so mad. Look at how mad you are. <laughs> you mad, bro? Um, we we want a key so we can open that golden chest. So we may or may not do hush. You know, I, I mean, I feel like we're playing a character that's a little bit quicker than default Maggie with no DPS upgrades until almost the end of the game. Or we 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 were Eden last time. That Eden run it started spicy though. You can't be mad. You can. You, I, I don't control whether or not you're going to be angry, but I suppose. Before we do anything special here, I want to see if possibly we have an Eddie room. We don't, but a Nine Lives Eddie room is like, it's a mighty interesting situation, right? It means we could probably go down to like, you know, two lives. Oh! It, I thought it might work. Look at that. <laughs> we could probably go down to like two lives in order to get the payout, but you know, apparently it's irrelevant here, so never mind. How am I doing? I'm doing well. How was the bagel? Look, I didn't have one, okay? I had a croissant instead because I forgot I still had one left over. And it did say uh, best before two days ago. I looked at it. There were no visible signs of decay, and I said to myself, I'm willing to take a chance. I've been, uh, I wouldn't say I've been, uh, like the king of not wasting food lately, because that's simply not true, but I've been much more, you know, minded. Been paying it much more mind lately. Because everything, I don't know if, you, if uh, where you live, it's in the same boat. I feel like all grocery stores uh, are tailored around, uh, like the portion size and the packaging size and stuff like that. I'm not even talking about Costco or anything like that. I'm just talking about like, you know, your your average grocery store. They all seem to be tailored around like a family of four. And I'm not mad about it um, because I understand that, you know, it, it, that, that's a, a, a demographic that, you know, they do a lot of grocery shopping. <laughs> Always see the, the families in there. You got one kid in the cart. You got, you know, one kid's hauling a 12-pack of soda around. You know, I, I see it all the time. I'm willing to pay you one more time. Actually, I'm, I'm wondering if, like, IV bag wouldn't be the dream play for us to allow us to get into Berserk more commonly. I, I can see some synergies there. But I, I you know, when you buy... I, the, the example I always go into is when you buy bread at the grocery store is crazy, man. Hold on, Tomo wants to come in? Tomo! Depending on what your diet is like, you know, you might not find this to be as much of a problem as I do, but when I want to buy bread at the grocery store, it creates a bit of an issue for me sometimes because Kate doesn't really uh, eat bread. Even if she did, for two people to finish a loaf is like, uh, 
you know, I would say if you're having it like a toast for breakfast and a sandwich for lunch, it might take two people like four or five days to finish the bread. A lot of bread, you know, particularly stuff that's fresh baked and not loaded with preservatives, which is not just for health reasons what I would like to buy, but also for like flavor reasons. Son of a! <laughs> I knew it was gonna happen too. I'm not sweating it too much, but it, it, it hurts. It, it hurts me when you do this. Hey, we're, we're right back in there. Would you look at that? Um, and we're right back in there again. Don't even try it. We, we can keep this going, man. Hold on. The anecdotes gotta wait. The anecdotes gotta wait, because we're... I mean, you already know where I'm going with this. It could take you, like, uh, you know, like a week to eat a loaf of bread between two people. And it goes bad in, like, four days. Or at least gets stale. Um... Well, then people are like, oh, you gotta freeze the bread, and I'm like, yeah, well, you know, that that's uh, applicable, don't get me wrong, but also our freezer is full of, like, breast milk right now, so, like, you know, freezer space is at a little bit of a premium. We gotta try, we gotta try, man. We gotta try, just go ahead and grab this. This run, I can already tell, it's a little off the rails, but, but I respect it. And we are still on pace for Hush for the time being, but that could change pretty quickly. So I, uh, you know, like, maybe, uh, I'm barking up the wrong tree here, but I'm always, anytime I'm at the grocery store, let me put it this way, I can't remember, like, the last time I bought two of anything. <laughs> at least two packages. Obviously, like, sometimes you're gonna need, like, two tomatoes or something like that, but, um, or, you know, two pork chops, but I've never been in a situation where, like, I need to buy a package of something, and I'm like, oh, I need two of it. If, if anything, I much more frequently find myself in a situation where I would rather have half of something. Not for price purposes. I guess we do pick it up, but... Um, but instead for, uh... I could be here. It doesn't feel right, though. Just for, like, food waste purposes. Like, even I, I got a... A package of fingerling potatoes. You might have heard me talk about the fingerling potatoes ad nauseum. And, like, I, I cooked some of them on the first day. It was a reasonably large side. I had enough left, and I was like, you know what? I guess I'll have some on the second day for dinner as well. Then on the third day, I was getting sick of fingerling potatoes. I didn't know it could happen. But it, it genuinely was, and I, I was I still got to use them, though. So I, I used them all up, but... I, I think, and again, this is just a business idea. It's not like something wrong with the world. There needs to be like a, a, a millennial grocery store that, like, like, you know what they need? They need an anti-Costco. That's, uh, I completely forgot how glass cannon works. <laughs> they need an anti-Costco that sells things uh, at small portion sizes for people that you know, I'm not saying it has to be expensive. Like, because Costco has a reputation for good prices and actually, like, high-quality product as well. Um, we can make this, man. We This is not... You know what? Let's not even risk it. Let's give you a little nudge. Um, but, a, yeah, like an anti-Costco that sells things deliberately in smaller packages. I can't be the only person out here or out there. I guess this takes us back to normalcy. I can't be the only person out there that is like, the reason I don't want to shop at Costco is because I don't have space to put all this stuff, man. I would, oh, we're gonna, we're gonna take that for sure. This will just be, it'll be weird, but it'll be a lot of fun. Um, I need, uh, I need a grocery store that sells like a, a box of two croissants. Four croissants, like it's doable, but if I skip one morning of croissants, one of them's going bad. That's a lot of pressure. This could be secret room. It's not, but it's still great here. Look at this. We're, we're off to the races, man. What the heck is broken glasses? 33% chance of adding an extra blind item in, in item rooms reveals the blind item in the alt path. It's very interesting. It's a good pill. Told you. Um, so it's... Well, I, you know what? Now that I think about it, I'm like, I don't think a blind item is actually that good. I know we should go to the alt path, but hey, man, I gotta make hush. I gotta make the hush fight. I'm also gonna throw in a pause. My services are required. See you in a moment here. All right, I'm back. I've been talking to my business manager. 
He said, stop giving away great ideas for free. Anti-Costco is the next big thing. You gotta, you gotta stop just giving them away for free, though. I mean, that's a, that's a multi-billion dollar idea, potentially. What about a grocery store with smaller portions and higher prices? Look, the higher, you're inserting the higher prices part for yourself. That's not me, okay? It might seem crazy, but I'm sure, you know, like, like right now, people very value-focused. Very understandable, don't get me wrong. Especially, like, if you got a couple of kids, you're in a situation where you're like, hey, if I can get a box of 24 veggie straws for a good price, that, that helps me out a great deal. Totally understand. I, I can eat four human beings worth of veggie straws over the course of a reasonable time scale. There's not a doubt in my mind about that. All I'm saying... Oh, dude, the Twisted Pear Berserker, look at this. All I'm saying is that there was also probably a time... Why am I going here? <laughs> uh, it's not so bad. There was also probably a time where, uh, you know, if you worked in jello molds, you were like... Hey, man, sure, you know, industries come, industries go, but Americans are always going to buy jello molds. And you're eating uh, dirt right now because attitudes change over time. You know, when I look at, like, the demographic shift in, uh, in North America and, you know, other parts of the world as well, but, like, declining birth rates and stuff like that, I'm like, I, I'm, I'm a believer that there might be a... A market eventually for a grocery store that is like, hey, we sell smaller portions so that you don't end up like lettuce is crazy, man. I'm not I, I hate to admit that I've like waste, oh, wasted some food like in, in my life ever because it'll get you destroyed online, right? People will pick the mushrooms off their pizza, but if you ever throw out like two spinach leaves, you're a monster. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It Secret room could be... <laughs> you know what, we'll just run it back here. Can you get out of my face? But like, I, I don't know how many people you need to have in a household. Or alternatively, uh, this is crazy that you're not dead yet. Like, it, it's actually, it's boggling my mind. Or alternatively, like how much lettuce you need to eat in order to make a head of lettuce not go bad. Um, before it's, or in order to consume an entire head of lettuce before it goes bad. Like, it just, it seems unfathomable to me. We gotta start selling, uh, smaller portions of lettuce. That, that's my platform. There is a Canadian federal election happening. Um, I cannot believe it. Like, is, are you bugged? There's a Canadian federal election happening, uh, soon. I think it's in, like... I mean, forgive me, you might be like, how could you not know? Literally, it just got announced, like, I think yesterday. Because um, I made that tweet that was like, honey... <laughs> um, excuse me, uh, my eternal heart? I picked up the other thing with, with, uh, there's options, or whatever it's called. Son of a... Justice. I forgot we had tarot cloth, too. That's actually kind of sick. This, this run is, is wild so far. There's, there's some, there's some wildness to it. John Snow. My platform is smaller bags of lettuce. Perhaps at the grocery store, the unit price might be raised slightly per by weight because some processing must be done to portion the lettuce into smaller portions. However, the benefit is not having to throw out half a head of lettuce in your compost bin. Uh, just because you wanted to have, like, you know, shrimp tacos one day. Uh, pretty Fly actually give us Big Fan. Would you look at that? Horse Pill Pretty Fly. Big Fan. Who knew? Big Fan. Wow, Loki. They laughed at the guy who invented the telephone as well, probably. I think I'm willing to go a little in on this one, man. You might laugh, but I actually... I, I bet they did laugh at the guy who invented the telephone. They were like, uh, your name's Bell? <laughs> what are you gonna do, invent the telephone or something? And then he was like... <clears throat> Sorry, this is... We're, we're, I don't know where I'm going. This is we Maybe we should be on two Isaac a day. Three is... Uh, I can't be held responsible. 
People keep asking me if I'm going to invent the telephone, and I haven't really had an answer yet. But yeah, I'm thinking I'm Bell. Extreme minus twos, but you know what? It, it felt good. It felt like a, a, a constructed joke. I did watch, uh, I watched John Wick 1 yesterday. It's one of those movies, and I think everybody's got them, because I see the, the Reddit threads pop up all the time. But the it's one of those movies that's like, I don't need... Right, right, remember there's options. <clears throat> I don't need to actively seek out uh, John Wick to watch it, because it's on TV somewhat frequently, and I mean, I've just also seen it um, myself uh, many times, but... If it's on TV and I'm near the start of the movie, I'll watch it for sure. It's just a it's a it's a fun movie, man. Remember it? There's options. Maybe that could get me back in the theaters. John I hate you! I know John Wick 4 is incoming. Um Maybe that's how I find myself getting back into theaters. I can't believe we managed to uh pacify you before you got uh before you killed us there. It was just terrible play on my part. Okay, go for it. This is where we haven't had the opportunity lately to really get great uh berserk plays. We can make a lot of time up here. Why am I leaving then? Why am I not walking properly? Well I've been asking myself that question for quite some time. Rebuild, rebuild! I stepped on the freaking thing and <laughs> I stepped on the spikes, man. I was just trying to make sure I could use my uh, my red key. Okay, we got a little greedy, but you know what? We had like no HP on that life anyway. This is a definite example uh, right now of a run that is uh, substantially better than it looks. And it looks kind of like garbage. Wow, all that for a lockdown. Um, but it, it's actually, at least like in my brain, I'm like, when we choose that this one's gonna start to pop, when we start to take our lives seriously, um, then you're all gonna be sorry, you know? There's gonna be carnage. I did see a post, I, I, I don't know why I check it, okay? Cause like, I'm not super like anti-Reddit, but it just, I, I think like the older I get, um, the more I realize that like the kinds of people that I, and, and again, this is not to say that there's, that every community on, on Reddit is like this necessarily. But the older I get, the more I realize that like, um, if it comes to like advice or insight, like I I don't want it from people who want to give it. Like I I want to, there we go. I want to have to tease someone's opinion out of them that they don't want to give because they treat it with respect. If you give your opinion so freely, um, sometimes, okay, that's not bad. I think that there's a correlation, and not always, but sometimes I think there can be a correlation between that and like. Uh, it not being very good. <laughs> Great walking here, by the way. Um, so, what's my thesis? My my thesis on that is indeed that um, I think the more you post on Reddit, probably there is a, a relationship that your posts are worse. And, and I say you, which probably hurts feelings, but basically, like anybody, not not necessarily you specifically, but also you specifically, and also me specifically. But I go to r slash movies, just some, I guess just to keep up on the periodicals, you know? I don't have a subscription to Variety or something like that uh, ever since I left the industry. Um, they don't return my calls, Jerry Bruckheimer doesn't return my beeps anymore, it's, it's a whole thing. But there was a, a post, it was like 30,000 upvotes, and the, the post was like, 10 years ago, I made a decision to stop watching trailers. It has been the single biggest improvement to the quality of my movie-going experience ever. And I think when you... And I didn't read the post, so I'm being... I'm guilty of what I'm about to suggest here. Um, but I think when you just take a look at it, you go, Okay, maybe that makes sense. By the way, I don't think we're gonna make Hush. Surprise, surprise. 
Maybe that makes like I could see how you know you you are uh, trailers like give away the whole plot these days. So I don't want to like watch a trailer for a movie that I might see eventually. But what I think of is not the meat of the post, but actually the way the post is phrased. So I just picture this guy. I, I want to know like what his rock bottom moment was ten years ago. In 2011, maybe he saw the trailer for like you know Avengers or something like that came out a year after that and he was like you know what I'm done now that I know Kobe Smolders temporarily gets taken over by Loki I don't even want to see the dang movie anymore I uh, I was also trying to think for myself like what the what the single uh, I'm also like imagining what what is going through that guy's head when he's like at the movies like does he deliberately show up after the trailers are done like does he wait outside the theater people are like sir the movie started he's like nah 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 I'm not falling for that one again you're not gonna get me to watch these trailers that'll spoil a movie for me absolutely not you try to trick me into watching your advertisements I don't think so I mean, it's one of those times you're like, you're, you're kind of not wrong, but... <laughs> it is a little unusual, at least, let's say. A bar of soap. Or maybe he's just in the theater, but he's like closing his eyes and plugging his ears. From the director of Scary Movie 2. Ah, la 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 la, he's like plugging his ears. Ah, la 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 la. Stapler? I believe you have my stapler. Hey, any familiars you have, stop moving. Twice! I actually think this might be worth something for us. Um, if it keeps... Oh, multi-dimensional baby still rotates. I don't think this does anything for us at all, actually, is what I'm trying to say. Um, remember when I said it was good? What I meant is it does uh, nothing. Anyway. I was trying to think, like, what was the single biggest movie-going experience of like, like that improved my quality of life at the movie theater? I don't know, like... To be honest with you, it might be like getting popcorn. <laughs> I don't have a, I don't have a better explanation there. Uh, well, actually, you know what the single biggest improvement was it was definitely um, when they added the ability to choose your own seat. That was nice. I was a, a habitually early movie goer, and still would be honestly like if it, if it were completely 100% only up to me. Um, but now you don't have to be anxious and be like, oh, we got to show up, you know, 45 minutes early to die another day because it's opening weekend. You can just show up when the movie's about to start and then kick the people out of your seat that thought that you weren't going to show up even though you bought tickets that were like for dead center in the theater. Breath of life, huh? I guess we'll, we'll pick it up so that we don't see it again. I don't, I don't know if that's even how that works, but that's how we're going to do it. Um, that's that's a big one. Also, looking up the runtime of a movie before going to see it as an adult has has really helped me out. Because there's it, it helps me choose what show I want to watch, you know? Or what, what show time. Like, I don't want to go see a, a 9 p.m. showing of a movie that's th over three hours long. Usually, that I, I don't mind a long movie, don't get me wrong. That's... Uh, that's right in my wheelhouse. However, uh oh, he's he's freaking ticked, man. That's a that's a great trinket potentially. However, that's one where I'm more like I'd rather see a matinee. I'm getting out of here, man. This why why does this first off I, I accidentally just like bonked my microphone there. I apologize. Why is this run so slow? It shouldn't be that bad, right? Like, it's actually... I guess maybe our default stats are, are not great and have not recovered from... Uh, when we got the experimental treatment that was a damage down, but I, I still think we're gonna get there. Might just take us a little longer. We found our secret room. The secret room was Breath of Life. You know what? I'm, I'm willing to... Uh, no, well, because rotten hearts are only a half heart. By going into that curse room, we're condemning ourselves to lose a, uh, a our, our bone heart. Which is not cool. This is mighty dangerous. Just trying to keep Berserk going. Uh, well, that's a funny way to do it. 
Um, I would think maybe here is the next closest secret room location. Did we even have Berserk going when I said we're going to keep Berserk going? I don't know, man. It's a, it's a crazy mixed up world out there. Fruity Plum. Maybe with Big Fan, we're getting close to Lord of the Flies, but we're still waiting on like a, you know, that dream come true item. And we can, we can wait for a long time for that to come to pass, and it is what it is. I can feel the laziness start to creep in. It's like, why even pick up this penny? We already got so many pennies. Uh, don't even, because, you know, you got to expend a little bit of mental energy to think about some of this stuff. It's like, why even think about what consumable you're going to pick up? Just stand in the center of the room. Like, we got we to gotta nip those habits in the butt. The run takes as long as it takes. We got a great streak going here. It's My brain has been, you know, rewired for short-term thinking based on, you know, relative lacks of success in, in repentance. I mean, we've had some very entertaining runs, don't get me wrong, but nothing on the streak level. We got to remember, we're, we're playing for the future now, not not simply the, the present. And we're supposed to do... Blue Baby? It's a blue... Hush, hush Blue Baby. I was wrong. We, we still actually, believe it or not, I think we might make Hush. I, I really would prefer not to lose my bone heart. I'm not super optimistic about our hush chances, but I, I do. This basically confirms or denies it right here. That's a that's a deny. Our bone heart lived, thankfully. Fool, Empress. I mean, lump of coal is great. Don't get me wrong, um, but it doing three floors in six minutes, maybe with an emperor card. Ace of hearts, Ace of diamonds, death, fool. Empress. Um, it's all bad. <laughs> Maybe? Uh, this is the way I took it. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna put in a super, like, rush for the hush fight or whatever. Luck down. No thank you. No thank you. I'm getting out. Oh, I'm getting out of here when I get the chance, at least. What are we slurping? Oh, he's slurping. Why am I standing in the slurp zone, man? This ain't SeaWorld. It's as real as it gets. I'm on a boat. Don't you ever forget. Once per floor, taking a wisp... Uh, take. I'm just trying to read, excuse me. Creates a wisp when giving money to beggars. Wisps spawn... Five wisps upon entering an angel room? I read that wrong. I thought it said when you get five wisps, you get an angel room, which would be freaking sweet. Not what it says, unfortunately. Though I wish it were. I'm taking some serious damage. I'm a little embarrassed. I, I feel like there was... There's a run in here that's a little bit more interesting. Hey, that's... Uh, not bad there. We just gotta find it. I don't know where it comes from, but uh, we'll get there. I mean, I, I'm I'm feeling like a certain sort of way, right? Because I did rate Samson pretty highly, tainted Samson, in the uh, in the fun tier list and in the strong tier list. I'm not saying that like I'm learning to regret my actions here, but I'm kind of thinking like where the heck is either the fun or the in well the enjoyments there when we berserk, but. Also, I do just keep running into enemies. I think there's like a scientific phenomenon. Uh, the, and, and calling it scientific is maybe a little bit grandiose, but the more familiars you have, the less good your dodging will be. Because there's just more stuff on the screen to pay attention to, right? And, and to constantly audit, like whether it's coming from you or elsewhere. Uh, I should not be here. Although, now I've teleported to a new floor, <laughs> or the devil deal, and I don't really... Uh, maybe I touched one of the red chests with my... Uh, yeah, that's probably how that went down. I touched one of the red chests with uh, with uh, my berserk sword. I think we might just want to become Dark Judas. The moon... 
Takes us to a cool secret room with Pascal's candle. Well, I guess we don't need to worry too much about our... Uh... Maybe we'll just let it ride. I don't know. Um, I guess we don't need to worry too much about uh, using red candle properly on this floor. Now I'm like, you know what? You got me. Now now I'll, I'll tough it out. I'll, I'll stick around as, uh, as Samson. Apparently we have 14 damage now, so that kind of came out of nowhere. <laughs> Didn't I have 4 damage like 10 seconds ago? Oh, I could have gotten it if I would just been fast. Alright, well, that's that. Anyway, so yeah, I'm, I'm probably not going to watch Green Knight. Because um, it's it's not a like a... And I know that we were talking about it more last episode, but... I mean, when, when they were like, it's coming to digital streaming, I was like, cool. And then they were like, it's one night only. I was like, ah, that kind of stinks, but we can make it work. Probably a Saturday, right? Then they were like, it's a Wednesday. And I was like, ugh. And then they were like, it's 9 p.m. Eastern. And I was like, 5 p.m. Pacific? I'm still I'm living my life at that time. It's not fair. But I'll, I'll see it eventually, man. I'll see it eventually. That and Pig. Everybody's saying you gotta watch Pig. Everybody's tweeting, I'm gonna watch the Pig movie. And then right after they tweet it, uh, two hours later, they go, I cried. I don't shy away from a movie that, that'll make you emotional at this stage in my life. I, uh, I look forward to it, honestly. It's, uh, it, it's... Catharsis. I cried a little bit when I was watching Willy's Wonderland with Nicolas Cage, but it was more like out of sympathy for where he must be. <laughs> okay, that's rude. I was going to say it's more out of sympathy for where he must be financially in order to take on a movie such as that, but I don't know Nicolas Cage's financial situation. It might have been a movie that was just very fun to be a part of. I'm needlessly uh, trying to get a dunk in on him, and you, the worst part is that people would probably largely, blue baby, people would probably largely be like, it's okay to dunk on him. He's a weird, like, you know, famous and rich guy. I mean, whether he's rich or not, he had the opportunity, I suppose. But hey, you know, they, I'm not uh, I'm not necessarily a proponent of the philosophy of like, do no harm, if only because I feel like it might be uh, impossible. But hey, do less harm. I like Nicolas Cage. There's no reason to... You can make a joke about his acting, but, you know, making a joke about a stranger's financial situation is, I don't know, a little bit. It depends. Are they a, a criminal or dead? <laughs> In which case, maybe, maybe it's okay. Or not as bad, at least. Blue baby, blue baby. We're going to get there. We're, we're not going to make hush, and I'll tell you, just in the interest of honesty, even if I was going to make hush, I probably wouldn't do it. Just because now, like, uh, I'm looking at the clock and I'm like, want to make sure I can get some lunch in before the stream. You might say, why not manage your time a little better? You could have lunch before the stream and a hush fight. Well, I, I had to do uh, a diaper change. And the diaper change, they used to be like a five minute thing. This is what real dad stories here, okay? Anybody that complains about diaper changes because they're gross, I don't necessarily disbelieve them, but I think they, they're, they're prioritizing and focusing on, like, the wrong thing. I used to, you know, I mean, it wasn't my favorite activity in the world, but I used to not mind the diaper changes. There's a little poop, you wipe it up, a little pee, you wipe it up, you put another diaper on, Bob's your uncle, you're good to go. Now, uh, I realize how stupid I was. And how good I had it without even realizing it. Uh, and that's because... Now, instead of just allowing the diaper change to come to pass... My daughter rolls, uh, or tries to roll, 100% of the time she's on the diaper changing pad. Which is extraordinarily annoying. You're already dealing with like a biohazard situation. If you it, and it only takes a minute to change the diaper if they would just sit still. But when they roll, it becomes like it took me, I think it was like a 12 minute diaper change. Cause in between every like five second step, there's like 30 seconds of wrangling. Of like, you know, don't don't roll. And like that's bargaining. And then you know, she rolls, and then you're like, okay, um, well, then just at least stand up straight. If you stand up straight, I could probably still do this. And then she's like, you know, bouncing up and down, and you're like, ah! 
I'm not sure it's healthy, but now I'm like, before I was like, ah, I don't ever want to be in a situation where like, as a, as a senior citizen, like I need someone to change my diapers. Now I'm like, what life decisions can I make to have the absolute worst diaper changes of all time to get back at her? <laughs> a lot of people would tell you it's not good parenting to uh, plot revenge on your infant daughter uh, when she gets older. Uh, you know what a lot of people should tell you is learn how to take a joke, uh, weirdo. We're just, we're having a laugh here. Obviously, I'm not being serious. You wouldn't know, and NL, there's some people out there that are like that. Probably, I've never met them, but... On the internet, I've heard stories and in fanfic and stuff like that. Okay, again, you know, am I guilty of uh, inventing a person to be mad at? Mm, I didn't invent them. The internet invented them. It's like they're a, a product of my imagination, but that's only because they exist, you know? Unidentified pill? On I this one's good, you can tell. You can just tell from the pixels. Um, and we're going to blue baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it takes a while now. And that's what, it, and I, I really feel like parents did a, and it's not their job, you know, their job is to raise their kids. But I think when I talk to parents, they did a bad job of explaining why diaper changes are annoying. Maybe they thought it was self-evident. You know, I, I got no uh, siblings, so I have never dealt with, you know, a, a baby brother, a baby sister, or anything like that. Um, I got, you know, all, all of my extended family are, like, roughly the same age. You know, like, my cousins are all within, like, one or two years of me. So, again, didn't didn't really have any uh, cognizant memories of dealing with uh, diapers or anything like that. I always thought that it was just like, ooh, poop is gross. And I'm like, dude, that's not so bad. Like, again, I know... They, I, I do need to say, by the way, almost all of the predictions that I had for myself as a parent have kind of borne out. One of the ones that rattled people the most is, you know, I was like, I don't think that uh, the diapers are going to be that big of a deal for me just because of the fact that, like, the I, I have, like, a strong stomach for, like, gross stuff. And, you know, going through college, I had, you know, routinely had friends that would throw up on each other. Not, not poop their pants, at least, you know, not openly, I guess, but... Um, definitely situation, like, I've seen some gross, like, bodily fluid stuff, and, it, and it, it's not, like, a point of pride, but it doesn't really bother me that much. I was totally right about that, which is, just goes to show you that you probably know where you're gonna be as a parent better than Twitch chat does, probably surprising absolutely nobody. Um, people also very much did not like the take... I'll probably be fine with sleep. I am, but that's more because the baby uh, sleeps like a dream. But I'm not trying to just brag here. Uh, dude, look at the rate of fire on this. Are you kidding me? I was trying to... Oh, yeah, but they. I, I feel like parents didn't do a great job of telling me, hey, the reason diaper changes suck is not because poop is gross. The reason the diaper changes suck is because you actually have to, like, do an MMA uh, pin while also changing the diaper with your other hand. That's... it's ten times more annoying. Dude, this run came together. Look at this. We got it all. No, forget you. I'm eating lunch. <laughs> the streams are just better when I get a chance to eat lunch, okay? When I don't have to just shove a granola bar down my gullet as soon as possible. There you go. There you go. I also, I prefer not eating on stream. Not because, like, I, I don't really worry about, and this is callous, I apologize, but, like, I, I think I've reached a point in my career where, like, I recognize that you can't please everybody. Um, so when I eat on camera and people are like, this is disgusting, I'm like, please just leave. The pit in my stomach that feels bad right now means more to me than your comment, right? And I, it's, it's not a nice thing to say, but I'm like, you know what? If, if it's truly a deal breaker for you, then what it really is, you're just watching the wrong show, honestly. You should you should go watch somebody who, who doesn't have to eat when they're on stream. But I do make an effort to eat before the stream instead, in, in the extent that I won't have to do it on stream. But I really feel like I just enjoy the food less when I have to eat it on camera, because I just shove it down my gullet as fast as possible, like eat it, 
uh, away from the camera while also feeling like I need to chew super quick so that we don't have more than 20 seconds of dead air at a time. So rest assured, it annoys me too. I, I don't eat on stream out of like a... Out of like a desire to eat on stream. Sometimes I'm just like, man, my... Like there's hunger and then there's like your brain not making a connection so you can't finish sentences coherently or remember what you said five seconds ago. That's... That's where you need to add, I don't know, like six or seven Popeye's chicken sandwiches down the gullet real quick just to make sure that you're, you're good to go for the future. No, thanks. <laughs> That's okay. I, I think I'm, I'm content where I stand. Thank you for asking, though. Oh, man. Now that is damage. What a weird run. Um, I wouldn't say this is like a shining hallmark of my ability as an Isaac player, but we did pick up the dub. That's eight wins in a row as long as you ignore the boss rush uh, and the hush mechanics. And thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. See ya!